I'm John Harrington, author of the book Best Business Practices for Photographers and more Best Business Practices for Photographers. We're here on Capitol Hill, right next to the Library of Congress, where we normally go to do our registrations in person. This entire video walks you through, step by step, how to use the Electronic Copyright Office in order to do a registration of published images. You'll need a spreadsheet, and we provided that spreadsheet at a URL below. Now, this example is of a group registration of published images. Separately, we're going to do a video that will show you how to do a series of unpublished images, so stay tuned for that. We use Adobe Acrobat, Photo Mechanic, and Microsoft Excel in order to do this process. Now, once you've watched the video, you may find that there is a solution that actually works better with applications that you're using, so that's fine. I'd like to thank noted copyright expert Jeff Sedlick and Jeff Suarez for the ideas that provided fodder for this system. The system takes less than an hour to do from beginning to end. You're registering thousands of images, so if you're doing it every month, it's about an hour a month. While we live and work here in Washington, D.C., it's now actually easier for us to use the ECO to register our images than to do it in person. Don't worry. Get your images registered now and moving forward, and then as you're more comfortable with your images and the registration process, you can go backwards and do them that way. Now, we've shortened the duration of this video so that you can actually uh, you don't have to watch progress bars as we're doing it, so, but the reality is, is it does take about, about an hour, maybe less, to do your registrations. And disclaimer, I am not an attorney, so if you have legal questions about the registration process or how to do it, please consult with an attorney. Now let's get started. We organize our work and thus our registrations by month. You're free, of course, to do it by project or however it suits your workflow best. Here's one month's worth of assignments. They are just downsampled images from our high resolution images we exported out of Lightroom. For this month, there were 11 assignments beginning on November 1st and ending November 22nd. Within just that month, here are a few of those individual assignments. Now we'll switch to the application we've chosen to do renumbering and PDF contact sheets, Photo Mechanic, and an empty window that they refer to as a contact sheet. Select Ingest Next from the File drop-down menu. Once the Ingest dialog box comes up, click Add, and then select the Parent folder that contains all the images you want to register. Select the destination folder where all the images will be copied to under Destination Folder Roots. We'll create a combined folder using the word Combined Files at the end. Now we'll be renaming the files to make them shorter. We choose a sequence of four digits at the beginning, add in an underscore, followed by the year, month, and day, select ingest, and let it do its work. Once the images appear in the contact sheet window, you can see here that there are 7,566 images. This is an important number to remember. Here you'll see the new file names. You'll also see here the number of images in the folder we created matches the number in Photo Mechanic. Here you'll also see that the file name is much shorter than the original file name. This is important for the maximum amount allowed by the Copyright Office. Back in the Finder again, here is the original folder with the longer file names. And here's the new one with the shorter file names.
Within the Finder, from the Edit drop-down menu, choose Select All, and then choose Copy. Doing this within the Finder would actually copy the files from one place to another. However, when going into Excel, it just copies the file names individually. Switch to Excel. Open the Excel spreadsheet we've created for you. If you don't have it already, you can download it at the URL that's on the screen now. Scroll down to cell A140 and select Paste from the Edit drop-down menu. The file names are automatically entered into successive cells one below the other. Now scrolling back to the top of the spreadsheet, you'll need to answer a few questions. The first is, are the titles below works that have been published? In this instance, we're typing yes in all capitals. Next you'll enter the name of the registrant. That would likely be you. In this case, I'm doing my own registration, so I enter my own name. Next, you'll enter an answer to which registration is this. We do it monthly, so for November it's 11. However, we're doing two registrations for November, so it's 11A for us here. Now you'll identify how many PDF documents you'll be uploading. Unless there's a specific reason otherwise, the answer here should be 1. Now let's have a look at the auto-generated title of work. We've chosen this title format and style, however, you're free to use any title you want. This title will use the answers from above, including the name, registration number, and number of PDFs, along with the number of photographs being registered. You note here that the number is 6,950, and not the 7,566 that was the total for the month of November. Next, review the auto-generated previous or alternative titles field. This includes the number of images you're registering. You'll need this during the actual registration. The next auto-generated information is the Note to Copyright Office information. You'll also need this during the actual registration, as this is where you'll be telling them when the last date of publication is for your group registration. Again, note, this registration only allows for 6,950 images, not the 7,566 we shot that month. That means we need to file a second registration. This spreadsheet will handle up to two registrations. Let's look at the second registration. Here you'll see the balance of the number of images being registered. In this case, it's 616. The spreadsheet has calculated that the number of images to be registered is greater than can fit on one registration, so it indicates you must use two registrations. Why is this? Well, the Electronic Copyright Office has a maximum character length for its Voyager database of 99,999 characters. We've displayed here the figures for that registration, which includes information from the LOC IT department showing padding figures and the approximate length of the other fields in the database. If your registration is greater than 99,999, it will hang up the data transfer and your registration will complete. This is one of the reasons why we're reducing the file name lengths to increase the number of images per registration. Once again, note for this registration, we're doing 6,950 images. Now we'll go to Photo Mechanic to build our PDF contact sheet of images to upload. Here in Photo Mechanic, we'll open the folder of the combined files. With all the files in front of you, selecting first the first image, and then scrolling down to shift-click the 6,950th image means you've selected all the images for the first registration PDF. Looking at the lower left, we confirm the total number selected. Select Print from the File drop-down menu. 
switch back to Excel to copy the title of work being registered from the Excel spreadsheet. Switching back again into Photo Mechanic and then choose Paste and paste that into the header. Take note of the number of pages that the PDF will be. This one is 580 pages in length. We then enter that into the footer of the PDF as well. We set the resolution to be 160 dpi and then the rows are set to 4 and the columns set to 3. This gives us 12 images per page. We've also set the margins here at 0.15 for both vertical and horizontal. The thumbnail title line will contain the first 13 characters of the file name. NL here stands for new line and then approximate date of first publication followed by the month, day, and year separated by a forward slash between them. Set the title line height to be two lines and you're all set. Once the OS print dialog box comes up, you reconfirm that it's 580 pages, and you can see in the preview window that the image has the two lines beneath it as well, and then choose Save as PDF. For the saved file name, which will be uploaded as you've named it to the Copyright Office, choose a title that means something to your registration. For us, we're choosing J. Harrington underscore 2013 underscore November underscore REF P 1311A and click Save. will save you the time of watching the print progress bar go along as the images are printed. Because we're doing two registrations for this month, we need to print the remaining images to a PDF in the same way. Remaining in Photo Mechanic, select 6951 and then scrolling to the end and choosing the last image, 7566. In this example, that's 616 images. we confirm it's 616 images. Switch back to the Excel spreadsheet. Here, we'll fill in in the few boxes as we did before with yes for the question of whether or not the work's been published and the name of the registrant, in this case, it's my name. We'll enter in 11B for our reference number, with B being the second registration for the 11th month, November, and again the number of PDFs as 1. Return to Photo Mechanic and select Print again. The header will come up with the previous data and make sure you change it. Switching back to Excel, copy the new title of this work and then back to Photo Mechanic again and paste it into the header. In this case, the text includes a leading zero and a comma, so we remove that manually. Now determine the number of pages. In this case, it's 52 pages. Update the footer to reflect that. The rows, columns, margins, line height, resolution, and thumbnail title should all remain the same, and select Print. Once again, in the Print dialog box, choose Save as PDF, and change the file name to B. Here I've just clicked on the previous one and changed the B and hit Save. I'm going to save you from having to watch the Print Progress bar again, so we'll fast forward through it.
So now quit Photo Mechanic and we'll switch to Adobe Acrobat where we will be reducing the file size of the PDF. Select Open from the File drop-down menu and choose the first PDF. With the PDF open, you can review the results of the header and confirm its accuracy. You can also look over the two title lines for each image. We'll scroll down to the bottom of the PDF. From the Advanced drop-down menu, choose PDF Optimizer. Here, you'll be choosing settings that will make the PDF smaller and thus fit within the file upload limitations of the Copyright Office. Let's look at the file info on the original file. Here, the 580 page PDF starts out at a 1.35 gigabyte file size. Acrobat does a great job of reducing file sizes by downsizing the images in the PDF and taking out all sorts of other things hidden in the file. We've created a preset we've titled JHP Copyright Standard. It's very useful once you've done this a few times to create presets to save time in the future. Let's go over those settings. The first set of settings to change is for images. Here, for images over 240 pixels, we've chosen to set the downsampling to 160 pixels per inch for all of the image settings. Switching to fonts, we make sure there's only the one font we're using embedded, in this case, Helvetica. Switch to transparency and switch to low resolution. Under discard objects, all the boxes should be checked. Under discard user data, all the boxes are checked except for discard document information and metadata. Under Cleanup, everything is checked except for Removed Unreferenced Name Destination. Select OK, and in the Save Optimized As dialog box, we're choosing the same file name and then adding onto the end underscore optimized and select save. We'll save you about the four or so minutes it takes to export the optimized PDF. Now let's look at the optimized file size. Again, the original file size was 1.35 gigabytes. And the optimized file size is 108 megabytes. That's quite a savings. And also gets you in under the 170 megabyte limit of the file size for the Copyright Office. Now we'll optimize the second PDF just as we did before.
we'll go straight to the PDF Optimizer dialog box using the preset It's quick to select it and then select OK and again save. Using the underscore optimized and choose save. This PDF was exported much faster, but will still save you the time of watching the progress bar. Again, let's look at the optimized file size. The original file size for this was 151 megabytes, which would have been just fine to upload without optimization because it's under the 170 megabyte LOC limit. However, by optimizing it, we reduced the file size to 13 megabytes. Let's close Acrobat now and head to the Copyright Office to begin the process of filing the registration now that all of the images are prepared for upload. Opening up your web browser, in this case we're using Safari, head over to copyright.gov, select ECO Login, and choose Continue to ECO. Once at the ECO Login, enter in your user ID and password and select Login. From the navigation bar on the left, choose Register a New Claim to begin the process. The first question is about how many works you're registering. Select No to the question, I'm registering one work, because you're registering more than one. The second question you'll be answering yes to is, is the work being registered created by one person? The last question you'll answer yes to is, Copyright in the work is solely owned by the person who created it. Then click Start Registration. Select Work of the Visual Arts from the Type of Work drop-down menu, then click Continue. Take note here at the progress column on the left that type of work now has a check mark box indicating you've completed that portion of the registration process. Click new and in the next window you'll need information from the Excel spreadsheet. The title of work being registered. Switch to Excel. Select that cell. and choose copy. Switch back to the Copyright Office web page and from the title type drop down menu select title of work being registered and then in the title of this work box select paste and paste the information from the spreadsheet into that box and click save. Back at the title screen, you'll see title of the work has been added to the listing below. Now it's time to make some additional entries for your registration. Because this is a group registration spanning multiple days, the Copyright Office requires that the words group registration appear in the application, and they prefer it to be entered into the previous or alternative titles field. So let's do that now. Click New. Select from the Title Type drop-down menu, Previous or Alternative Title. Switching to Excel, select the green box that has the Previous or Alternative Title information. Click Copy from the Edit drop-down menu and return to the ECO website. And in the Title of this Work box, select Paste and paste the information from the spreadsheet into that box and click Save. 
Now you'll see that the group registration text has been added to the second line. Now we begin a bit of a tedious process of copying all of the titles into multiple additional lines of the application. Click New and choose from the Title Type drop-down menu, Contents Title. For this registration, we'll be doing this 50 times. In the spreadsheet, you'll need to select the cell for Contents Title line number 1, which in this case is cell F11. As noted on the spreadsheet, this is the data to copy and paste to the contents title line on the ECO form. After entering in your chosen title of work being registered and the information shown here in the previous or alternative titles field, each of the lines below should be entered in as individual contents title entries. So, single click the cell and choose from the Edit drop down menu Copy. There's far more information in that cell than you can see. Switching back to the ECO website, click into the Title of this Work box and click Paste. Repeat this process 49 more times. For us, this took about 10 minutes. Here you'll see the multiple pages we've created for this application. With 50 contents title lines, the original title of the registration, and the required previous or alternative titles entry, we have a total of 52 entries. Click Continue to move to the next step. Select from the Has This Work Been Published drop-down menu, Yes. In the Year of Completion field, enter that information. In this case, it was 2013. In the Date of First Publication field, we refer back to the spreadsheet, which has that information based upon the file name. Once we've identified that, we return to the ECO and enter in that date. In this case, it was the 1st of November, so we enter that. Next is the nation of first publication. In our case, we enter in United States. Click Continue to move to the next step. In the author section, click on Add Me. My name gets added and then we enter in my citizenship, domicile, and year of birth and click Save. In the next window is what our contribution was. Choose Photographs and then click Save. Now you'll see that my name is there as the author. Click Continue to move to the next step. For claimants, we repeat the process similar to Authors by clicking Add Me. Click Save. Click Continue to move to identify any limitations on your claim. You're not entering anything here, so click Continue again. In the Rights and Permissions section, choose Add Me 
and click Continue. In the Correspondence section, choose Add Me and click Continue. In the Mail Certificate section, choose Add Me and click Continue. Under Special Handling, you don't need anything selected, so just click Continue. Under the Certification section, you have to enter in your name, and then we use for our optional internal tracking number the reference number listed in the title and also on the spreadsheet. For this one, it's P1311A. Now we'll enter into the optional Note to Copyright Office field the information that was created in the spreadsheet. Return to the spreadsheet, copy the text, and then back to the ECO and click Paste. Click Continue to move to the next step. Now we're given the opportunity to review our application. Scroll through and double check yours, and when you're ready, click Add to Cart. Next, click Check Out. We've prepaid the Copyright Office, so we choose Deposit Account. A very small, hard to see icon appears at the far right under the Pay column. Click that. Click OK. The window will appear next showing Payment Successful and asks you to click Continue to complete the registration. Click Continue. Click now the Step 1 Upload Deposit option. Here is where we will upload the PDF created earlier. Choose File. As we had named the file with the word Optimized at the end, we now can go and take that off the end of the file name as it's not necessary for the Copyright Office's purposes. Choose File, and then from the dialog box, select the PDF that was created. After selecting the file using Choose File, in the brief title, enter something that will be helpful to the Copyright Office. We've chosen 6950 images from November 2013, REF-P-1311A. Note there are no commas or other characters other than the letters and numbers here. Click Submit Files to Copyright Office. A warning window will pop up requiring you to confirm you've selected the right files. Review the window and then click OK to proceed. Your upload speeds will vary. For us, on Fios, it took about a minute. However, your upload speeds may vary, so we're truncated here. Once complete, you'll get a screen that says the file was submitted and the upload was successful. Click Close Window. As we're only uploading one file, we move to Step 2 and click Upload Complete. We are asked to confirm this with a pop-up window. After reviewing that, click OK.
In the resulting window, you'll see that it now says upload status is complete. This registration is now complete. Click the home hyperlink and we'll now see that the registration is listed as complete. With one more registration for the remaining 616 images, click again, register new claim. As with the first registration, select no, yes and yes, and click start registration. Select work of the visual arts from the type of work drop down menu, then click continue. Click new, and in the next window, you'll need information from the Excel spreadsheet. The title of work being registered. Switch to Excel and scroll down to your second registration. Take note here that this is registration 11B. We'll need that later. You'll also see here the dates of first and last assignment as pulled from the file names below. Next you'll confirm that you've correctly entered yes regarding the work having been published and the registrant's name and number of PDFs and that the cells that are green are filled out. Then select the title of this work cell and choose copy. Switch back to the Copyright Office webpage and from the title type drop down menu select title of work being registered. And then in the title of work box select paste and paste the information from the spreadsheet into that box. Here we'll edit out the leading zero and the comma and after that we'll click save. Click new. Select from the title type drop down menu previous or alternative title. Switching to Excel, select the green box that has the previous or alternative title information. Click Copy from the Edit drop-down menu and return to the ECO website and in the title of this work box select Paste, remove the leading zero and the comma and click Save. Now you'll see that the group registration text has been added to the second line. Again, we're doing contents titles back and forth from Excel. In the spreadsheet, you'll need to select the cells for the content title line number one, which in this case is cell F77. Copy the cells as before and each time click Save. Repeat this process four more times. For us, this took about a minute. Click Continue. Here you'll see that the multiple pages we've created for this application. We have a total of seven entries. Click Continue. Select from the Has This Works Been Published? Yes. In the Year of Completion field, enter that information. In this case, it was 2013. In the Date of First Publication field, we enter that based upon the spreadsheet information. Next is the nation of first publication. In our case, we enter in United States. Click continue to move to the next step. In the author section, click on add me. My name gets added and then we enter in my citizenship, domicile, and year of birth and click save. And the next window is what our contribution was. Choose photographs and then click save. Now you'll see that my name is there as the author. Click continue. For claimants, we repeat the process similar to authors by clicking Add Me, then click Save. Click Continue to move to identify any limitations to your claim. You're not entering anything here, so click Continue again. In the Rights and Permissions section, choose Add Me and click Continue. In the Correspondence section, choose Add Me and click Continue. In the Mail Certificate section, choose Add Me and click Continue. For special handling, just click Continue. Under the Certification section, you have to enter in your name, and then what we use for our optional internal tracking number, the reference number listed in the title and also on the spreadsheet. For this one, it's P1311B. Now we'll enter into the optional Note to Copyright Office field the information that was created in the spreadsheet. Return to the spreadsheet, copy the text, and then back to the ECO and just click paste and then click continue. 
Next, just click Add to Cart. Review what's in your cart and then click Check Out. We then choose Pay Deposit Account. A very small, hard to see icon again appears at the far right under the Pay column. Click that. Click OK. Payment Successful appears. Click Continue. Choose Upload Deposit. Select Choose File and then from the dialog box select the PDF that was created. After selecting the file using Choose File, in the brief title enter something that will be helpful for the Copyright Office. We've chosen 616 images from November 2013, ref P1311B. Again note, there are no commas or other characters other than letters and numbers here. Click Submit Files to Copyright Office. Click OK on the pop-up warning window. We'll truncate our upload process, but this one didn't take very long. Once complete, you'll get a screen that says the file was submitted and the upload was successful. Click Close Window. With just one file, we move to step two and click Upload Complete. We're asked to confirm this with a pop-up window. After reviewing that, click OK. In the resulting window, you'll see that it now says Upload Status is Complete. This second registration is now complete. Click Home and you'll see both registrations. You're now done. So that's it. If you want to see more about this registration, step-by-step -step in print, and some alternative solutions as well, check out the book, More Best Business Practices for Photographers. Thanks for watching.